I'm Corinthia West, and I've uh, been um, showing my photographs from the 1970s and 80s for quite a while now, having different exhibitions all over the world. I love being an observer and not being the centre of attention. So being modelling and acting was being the centre of attention, but it gave me a sort of behind-the-scenes feeling of just looking at people and how they, um, how they are on the street. And Orion's invited me to come and uh, show in this wonderful building. And here I am, very, very ensconced in opening an exhibition. Pink Floyd flew this dirigible pig over the Battersea Power Station in 1976. And um, they were friends of mine, and they said, just come along. And there was this huge pig in the back of a van, blow up pig. and. Um, and it went up on a steel hawser. And then to our horror, it, the hawser snapped and the pig started to fly off. It ended up in a field in Kent <laughs> and Nick Mason and David Gilmore got called up, the Pink Floyd operation, and a farmer rather crossly said, You're, is, are you Pink Floyd? My, this pig's landed in my field, it's scaring my cows. Anyway, my photographs, Kindly, the Floyd liked them so much, they put them in um, their exhibition that's touring around the world. Oh, very embarrassing. Yes, that's me. Graham Hughes asked me to be the model and just described it. I think, you know, you're standing at a balcony and you'll be naked, but don't worry, you know, you won't be, you'll be airbrushed and all the rest of it. And I had to stand stark naked at that window in these incredibly high heels. And, and then they, there was a glint in the car park. And I, to my horror, I thought there was a, another cat, a photographer down there. Needless to say, I hadn't got anything on in the front. And so I screamed and Graham sent down the, his assistant who saw the guy off. So then they taped me up in the front with a sort of piece of paper and this and that. It's very funny. All I really cared about was my parents didn't know until Christmas I found out my father had given, bought ten copies and given to all his friends. Very proud of his daughter for doing this. So anyway, that was a good laugh. And the point about this picture, this is Chris Jagger, who's Mick's brother, and he and I were walking down Sunset Boulevard in LA. This was a big poster in the window of Tower Records blown up huge. So I went, oh my God, that's me. So Chris is laughing and I took that picture and I really like it because Chris is a very good friend of mine and, um, and I love the fact that he's finding it very funny. And so it's my picture of me on the wall. Well, I was hanging out with the Stones in Santa Monica. In fact, it was Ronnie Wood house in Malibu and Mick and um, the other, they were in between tours and Chrissy Wood who was Ronnie's first wife was pregnant very pregnant and so I was the only other girl apart from Chrissy so I was really protective of her because she was about to give birth and so there was a big party one night with them um, as usual every night and I realised Chrissy was going into labour. And I said, we've got to call the doctor to Ronnie. Oh, Mick says, you know, I know when a woman's having a baby. It's not ready yet, you know, back to the guitar. <laughs> anyway, long story short, arrived at Cedar sinai they rushed her into emergency. And it was then a long night because, in fact, she took another 18 hours. So we were all hanging out in the waiting room. And there's Mick slumped down in the chair with a styrofoam cup and a cigarette and Ronnie coming out of the delivery room with his delivery gun looking happy because he's just seen his son for the first time and that was the night Jesse James Wood was born and also someone else would pick up the camera and take a picture of me asleep on the sofa you know but I never thought these pictures would be of any interest and anyway I never thought I'd show them because they were very personal I feel very lucky. I mean, not many people have something they can do later in life. You know, people ask me, do I take pictures now? Well, there's no point, because I'm so busy looking at all the other ones I took and, and 
you know, naming them and thinking, God, I must put on the back of that photograph who it was in case I pop my clogs. 